We've all experienced this scenario. We are attempting to display certain values in our chart, but for some reason, they don't appear as expected. In this video, I go over five potential reasons for why this might be happening. I'll be sharing 12 examples that will help us troubleshoot and resolve these issues. So let's begin. The first example we have is for an XY scatter chart. So if I check the chart type, you can see that it's an XY scatter chart. So we should be seeing dots in our chart for these values. If we check the data sheet of this, these are the values. So one of the points should be 35% for the X value. So it should be somewhere here and 64%. So our value should be somewhere here. But as you can see, nothing's showing here. But if we zoom in, you can see that there are a bunch of values in this point here. So how does that happen? Now, immediately one thing stands out to me is if I look at our axis values, I notice them, they are a number while our data points are all percentages. So the likely problem is the mismatch of the number format. So we need our axis to be percentages as well. So how do we do that? Double click on the y axis go to the maximum value change it to one because for percentages our maximum values go from zero to one with one being 100 percent let's do the same thing for horizontal chart change the maximum value to one you'll notice that our values have now suddenly shown up here we're not done yet because our axis looks kind of weird right now with zeros and ones so we need to fix that double click on the vertical axis on the right hand side go to the bottom twirl open the numbers category under category choose percentage do the same thing for the horizontal axis so double click go to the bottom under number category select percentage and that should fix our problem of the values not showing up let's look at the second one second one is similar to the first one but the difference is here the axis is in percentage while if we look at the values they are numbers which means we need our axis to be numbers as well so double click on vertical axis go to number change percentages to numbers same thing for the horizontal axis change the format to number we still need to fix this so click on vertical axis the maximum value here for y axis is 72 so i'm just going to type in 80 here and for the horizontal axis the maximum value for x axis this is 43 so i'm just going to type in 50 here and that helps solve our problem so the first issue that you will encounter is axis data mismatch and you will have to make sure that both the format for the axis and the data needs to match in order for our data to show up let's look at the next example here our data is same however we see that there are five data points that we have here but our chart is showing only three values now whenever you face an issue like this most likely our minimum or the maximum value for axis is not large enough to accommodate all the data points so here you'll notice that the maximum value for y goes up to 70 but if you look at our y axis values here the maximum value is 72 so this axis needs to extend beyond 72 and similarly if we look at our x axis x axis extends up to 40 however our maximum value is 43 so x axis also needs to extend beyond 43 so let's fix that double click on vertical axis increase the maximum value to say 75 double click on horizontal axis and extend the maximum value to 45 and there we can see all five of our values now let's keep going so the next example is easier to understand we can see that one of our bubbles is getting cut off although our maximum value 72 is covered by the y-axis here however given the nature of bubble chart we need to go over a few points for our vertical values to enclose the entire bubble so let's change 72 to say 75 the moment i did that powerpoint automatically changed the minimum value to minus 5 we want it to be say 50 so we can clearly see all our bubbles 
as you can see the bubble is still getting cut off so let me increase this to 80 and that should fix our problem so with bubble charts you might have to play around with values a bit to get the format just right moving on here we have a double column chart now the issue you can notice is one of our bars is not showing any values and it's not because the data label is not enabled data label is enabled however the value is getting cut off probably because the axis maximum value is cutting off at this point which is lower than the 72 percent that we should be seeing right now we don't know what the axis values are so first we'll have to enable vertical axis so click on this plus icon under axis click on primary vertical axis and you'll notice that the maximum y value goes up to 72 percent and we need it to go up to at least 72 percent but since we need some space for the label as well we will go well over 72 percent so i'm going to select 80 percent here and that should fix our problem let's continue this is a similar problem as the previous slide our values are getting cut off but because our axis is not enabled we can't see so first I'm going to enable the vertical axis so click on this plus icon under axis check this primary vertical axis now here it's a bit difficult to clearly tell how higher our axis needs to go because the maximum value is the sum of these two values so if we go to our vertical axis here what should be our maximum value now instead of trying to calculate the sum of these two values and finding the maximum value and then manually entering the value there there is a shortcut so if you go to this maximum value row here right at the end of that row we have this button called reset so just click on reset and powerpoint automatically adjusts the vertical maximum value next example i have for you is a very special case now I would like you to pause the video here for a few seconds and try to find out what is wrong with this chart. So I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. If you are able to find out what's wrong with this chart, congratulations. But if not, nothing to worry. If you notice for brand C and brand D columns, if you carefully look at the orange bars here, the percentages are 68% and 72%. However, the size of both bars is exactly same. Now, this is a very difficult issue to spot. When the values are this closer, we might just brush over thinking that, hey, everything looks right. However, visually, this is incorrect. 72% bar should look at least visually slightly bigger than 68%. The issue here is the same. The axis is getting cut off prematurely. Even though the axis looks complete here as it goes from 0 to 100%, but due to the nature of our data, the total for each bar is actually over 100%. Now we can fix this problem two ways. The first way is, of course, going to the vertical axis and clicking on reset next to this maximum row. PowerPoint should automatically take care of the issue for us. Another way you can fix this is by right clicking click on this option called change chart type now if you notice we have two types of stack bar charts one is this one which doesn't add up to a specific value like 100 percent and we have this one which does add up to 100 percent so you can click this chart instead of what we had selected previously and click ok and this should take care of our proportions automatically meanwhile keeping the vertical axis exactly the same so now if you compare 68 percent does look slightly smaller than 72 percent if you don't believe me let me show you let me just select a line here and i will draw a line here and you can see that 72 percent is slightly bigger than 68 percent so depending on your requirement if you need your vertical axis to remain the same then change the chart type but if your axis doesn't matter you can just extend the axis until all the values are visible in this example i want to show two columns per brand so right now column one is being shown here so we also want to show this column 
So I'm just going to copy the values here, go to edit data, and then paste our second column here. As you can see, I added the data. However, nothing got updated here. Now, those who have been using charts for some time, you can immediately see that the data series for our chart has excluded data for this newly added column. So the way to fix that is bring your cursor to the bottom right corner of this blue rectangle. Once you see the double headed arrow, just hold on your left mouse button and then drag the mouse. And once it covers the second column, release it. And that should make the second column appear. Let's add the data labels, make it consistent with the first column. And that's how you can fix the data series issue where one of the columns isn't showing up. For the next example, I have a horizontal bar chart where I want to show three bars per brand. So the first one being awareness, then purchase intent and likelihood to recommend. Right now, if we look at the chart, it only shows two columns. If I go to the data sheet, I do have all the values pasted in. However, for some reason, it has excluded purchase intent column. So this issue is also due to the data series excluding our column. To fix this, click on the chart once, go to chart design, click on select data. Here, you will notice that we have series only for two of the columns. So we will have to add purchase intent series manually. So we have to click on add, then a dialog box opens up like so. Click on series name, then click on this purchase intent once, then go to series values. Let me get rid of this one. And then we need equal to sign and then just drag your mouse over all these values and release it. Then click OK. We need purchase intent to be between these two. So click on it once and click on up arrow once and then click OK. That should add our bars for purchase intent. Let's give this another color. Let's say green, enable the data values, increase the font size to be consistent. And that's how you can add data series in case your chart has that missing. The next one, we have a stacked bar chart. We have four columns of data here and we do have four stack bars here. So what is wrong with it? If you look carefully, we have five brands from A to E. However, our stacked bars show only four brands. So brand D is missing. This again is a data series problem. To fix that, click on the chart once, go to chart design, click on select data. You will notice that on the left hand side, we have five brands, but for some reason, the checkbox for brand D is unchecked. So let's check that, click OK. And there, it has added our brand. Let's fix the legend. And there, if you have any of the chart values missing like this one, again, the problem most probably lies in the data series. So go and investigate there and most likely you should be able to fix that issue. Let's keep going. Now, this is a slightly rarer example that you will encounter here. If you notice, we have two columns of data. So if I go to our data sheet, you will see that we have data for two columns here. However, for some reason, the data for the second column is on top of this orange bar, but I, I can not get access to that bar. So what might be the reason? If I double click on this bar and go to the right hand side, here you will notice that the series overlap is 100%. What that means is we actually have two bars here. However, by keeping the overlap to 100%, we have made sure that both of them overlap on top of each other. And in doing so, the bars that have gone behind will not be visible, especially if their values are smaller than this bar. So to get access to the bars behind these orange bars, we have to change our series overlap to zero. And there you have access to the blue bars. Now you can see them. Now that covers most common issues that you will encounter with charts. However, I didn't want to leave some more issues that you might encounter. These are formatting issues. Now, these are quite straightforward and easy if you have worked with PowerPoint for a long time. However, just for the sake of completion, 
I think it makes sense to include them here. So if we look at this chart, we just have one column of data. Here, we have values showing for all bars except this bar. Now the problem isn't that the data label for this isn't showing up. The problem actually is this data label is in the same color as the background. That's why it's not showing up. So if you have that issue, just go and select this single data label here or click on all the data labels and change their color. Now let me increase values for some of the rows. So let me change 26% to let's say 70%. Now I changed the value for this bar to 70%. However, we can clearly tell that this is not 70%. Also the data label is getting cut off. If I look at my axis, axis doesn't seem to be the problem because we are going all the way up to 100% and our value is 70%. So the bar should come up to this point. What could be the reason? If I click here, there is a shape here that's blocking the bar. So once I delete that, we can see that our bar shows up. Now this looks like a silly issue. However, if you are working on someone else's presentation and it has lots of charts, sometimes these things happen. And in the rush, we might overlook something like this. So it's good to keep something like this in mind that sometimes the issues can be as simple as this. If you have been paying attention, you will notice there is one glaring mistake in this chart. I would like you to pause here for a few seconds and see if you can find out the mistake. If you did, congratulations. As you'll notice, brand C here is showing 15%, but none of our values are 15%. In fact, brand C should be showing 24%. You can even check in the data sheet. We have it as 24%, but here for some reason, it's showing as 15%. And it's not even like it's some text box that's been overlaid here. This text box is actually attached to this bar and it's part of this bar. So why is it 15%? The reason for why this is happening is if you manually edit any of these data labels, the link between the bar and the value breaks. No matter what value you put in the data sheet, that can never be reflected in this data label again. So this is something to remember is never ever manually edit data labels of your chart. If you do encounter this issue, just make sure you select the data label, delete it, and then re-enable it like so and you can see that now the data label is reattached to our chart now if we change value from 24 percent to any other value you can see that our value is now dynamically getting updated so to summarize whenever you encounter the scenario where you have pasted in the values in your data sheet of the chart but the chart isn't showing any values it could be one of these five issues. The first one we covered is when the axis and chart values don't match. So one of them could be number and the other one could be percentage. So you have to make sure that they both are in the same format. So either number for both or percentages for both. So second issue we covered is whenever the values are getting cut off, it's typically an axis related issue. So either your maximum or minimum value is not covering all the data points. So you will need to extend that to cover all the data points. The third one we covered was related to the data series where we are pasting in the values, but the entire set of bars or parts of charts are not showing up. That's because the data series does not include those data points. So you will have to go to chart design, then click on select data and make sure that the data series for those columns or rows has been added. The fourth issue we saw was when we have two bars and they overlap each other. So the bars behind cannot be seen or manipulated. So the way to fix that is to go to series overlap and making sure that the overlap value is 0%. So the last one we saw was related to formatting issues. So things like manually edited data labels or a shape covering our bar, etc. So whenever you come across any charting issues, most likely you will be able to fix them using the examples we covered. So I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like and subscribe for future videos and I will catch you next time.